back in the hen for me. Bow and arrows. Now, we're not near way arrows, but the Welsh long bow is, right? This is the tip of the bow. This is the tip of the bow. The hamstrings become the bow string. And if you really, really drive your chin farther from your hand, push it up by far. You feel those hamstrings tight up there? And if it's done correctly, boom, he turns himself into an arrow. That's what the kettlebell swing should be. If you want to do the Olympics and you want to do the smaller stuff, well, that's super heavy with that. He's in a different plane. But you'll notice that many of the smaller, especially female lifters, when they catch a swing, boom, even if they catch a kid, they still drop far. And the announcer is bad enough to do it. The load is so heavy, it's driving them into the ground. No! The catching, the balance, it's a stretch reflex. Stretch reflex. Stretch, boom, reflex. That's the kind of swing. That's holistic growth. Tomorrow's lecture will kind of break out these things a little bit better. But anytime you see some jackass doing this as a kettlebell swing, that's besides just a waste of everyone's time. That, that is a lift, not a swing. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to